Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm out with Murphy the Golden Doodle. This is actually my first time working with him. Gabby's done all the work leading up to this. And look, we're hands-free. Off leash heel this morning for our walk. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you all of his skills, of course, uh, the fact that we're able to walk him off leash, all of our training is on the e-collar, and show you how and when I use it, all right? So look, he's in heel. So when he's in this very spot, obviously I'm not touching the e-collar. If he were to lag behind, forge ahead, go to the side, first I'm gonna tap my tone, and that should bring him back into the right position. But if it doesn't, then I can go to my stem which is the black button with the red button together. All right, when I stop, he should sit. Good boy. If he doesn't sit, I would tap that uh, black S button and tell him to sit. Now, how do I get him back into heel? Let's say we've stopped, I needed to check my phone, I needed to get the mail, I needed to do whatever, and now I'm back ready to get him walking. What I'm gonna do is take a few steps ahead, I'm gonna say heel, tap the tone button on the e-collar, the one by itself, and then tap my left thigh. Murphy, that gets his attention, heel. And he joins right up into position. Look at that. What a nice way to walk a dog. Now notice I've got my long line dragging. And I've also got my short leash dragging because if we walk into a busier area of town or if I see a person or dog approaching, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to grab my leash. Okay, watch, he should follow me at whatever pace and whatever direction I'm going. I am just loving him trying so hard and applying everything he's learned with us. Sit. Good boy. Now I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some of his uh, stationary commands at a distance. Hey Murphy, down. What a good boy. So you're able to tell him D-O-W-N. He goes down, he stays down. If he were to break command, you would just say N-O, tap your stem, get him back into position. But your down stay really can be used anywhere at any time, no matter what distractions you have. And so we have a car driving by. And if I want um, to be extra safe, I can just step on his leash. But it's a really good distraction for him to stay down as a car drives by. Okay. Let's practice our no. Good. That's a really good example of what to do when he makes a mistake. It's just N-O, click the stem, he went back down. Because we know our dogs are gonna make mistakes, but we really care about how do they remedy them? Do they correct themselves and go back? Let's try our recall. So I'm gonna say C-O-M-E, and I'm gonna tap that tone button right there. Murphy, come, good boy, he comes to me, what a good boy, sit. He comes to me and sits. And then from here, I can release him. I can tell him to heal. I can put him in a down stay. Really, I can do whatever I want, okay? There's a car coming, so I'm gonna call. Oh, nope, it's turning. So let's release him. Murphy, break, good boy. Go potty. Let's see if we can walk by this barking dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay guys, so you can see how morning walks or walks at any time of the day can be really fun, really stress-free. With our e-collar training, our dogs are completely off-leash reliable. They understand what to do if they make a mistake and they can ignore distractions like barking dogs and cars driving by. Um, we talked about our off-leash heel, our sit, 
our uh, join up into heel, our down stay, and our recall. Um, the only command missing is the place command. And we could find something for him to place on, but most of the time when they're outside, we just use the down command. Because remember, place is something with a border, a boundary. So that's why we like to use the raised cots. But he is such a pleasure to walk. So now, ending our morning walk, we're gonna head inside and finish it off with the place command. Murphy, place. This is how we end our walk. So he goes to Gabby, because that's an option that's not telling him to work. So what I'm gonna do is offer one more time, Murphy, place, with the tone. If he didn't listen to me the second time, I would correct him. Good boy. And that's how we end our walks.